بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين We begin in the name of Allah the Almighty Allah the one who is merciful to all of the creation and he's especially merciful to the believers Assalamu alaikum students, students, students We're back, we're back Alhamdulillah, it's been a long time I haven't made a video for you guys so i decided to make a video today on this page for the advanced class yay alhamdulillah you guys have been some of you have been amazing you've been doing well in class you've been doing well in class and uh you are taking this class serious and we have covered a large portion of this book to the point that we are on the rulings of Tajweed. Now, if you're not following up with the class, you're not reviewing, you don't know the previous lessons that we have covered regarding the uh, the huruf al maftuha, uh, the letters of Fathad, Kasra, Dhamma, and the uh, elongations. Mad Alif, Mad Wow, Mad Nia. If you don't know the Tanween, the Sukun, and you don't know all of those, those rules, and you're not practicing, then you're not going to excel. Okay? Then it is going to be your fault. You're going to be blamed. Alright? Your parents want you, your parents want you to, they want you to do well. And I, as a teacher, want you to also do well. That is why I'm trying my best to help. But now, if you are not, and I repeat, if you are not practicing, studying like you do in the regular secular school or more, then you're not going to excel in this class and then the blame is going to be on you. All right, that is an intro. Let's go to this page. This is a page that we have covered. It's called Ahkamu Tartilul Quran, meaning the rulings regarding the recitation or the recitation of the Quran. And it says here in the green, Anwa'ul Mudud, the kinds of elongations, Mudud. And mudud is the plural of what? Is the plural of mad. <clears throat> and the first mad, the first elongation that we cover in this section of the book, the rulings of Tajweed, is called al madul wajibul muttasil, meaning of the mad that is mandatory and connected, the connected mandatory mad. And it says here, it is the case when a Hamza comes after the letter of Mad fi kalimatin wahidatin in a single word. In the Muddu Alif Al Mad Arba'a. Harakatin. So with this, okay, with this, the mad alif is stretch. How many harakat? It is stretch four harakat, meaning four character, four characters of four beats. Huh? The mad alif is stretch, or the mad dia is stretch. Or the mad wow is stretch four beats, and it is when a uh, hamza comes after the letter of mad in a single word, like here. This is a single word, guys. Mm? It's called hunafa, and this one is ja at humu. And this is ha um. Remember this sign. Whenever you see this sign in the Quran, it's an indication. I mean, the sign over the alif, like here. 
the red uh, slant set. Um, I don't know if that's the word for it. It goes like this. Mm. Uh, fat hat. <clears throat> it's not straight, but it's a little bit bent like this. All right, that is the first one. And then number two that we cover is Al Maddu Al Jaizu Al Munfasilu, meaning the mad that is permissible and it is separated. What is this mad? It is huwa an yakuna haruful mad akhirul kalima. It is the case when the letter of mad is the last letter of the word. Wal hamza tu awalu al kalimati lati taliha. And the hamza is the first letter in the in the in the in the word right after the previous word that has the mat alif has the last word. So in this case you elongate why I'm do harakatain two uh two beats or two character or two strings or out of harakat or four characters Wamin al Amthila and from the examples from the examples of this type of elongation is here. إذا أصابتهم وما أمروا إلا okay this is it right here see the mat alif is the last here and then the hamza is right after and also here uh, where the mat here is the last and then the uh, the hamza comes right after. And here is Lam Yal Bathu Illa. And here, Inni Anastu. And here, Wama Adaraka Malakab. Good. Number three that we cover is Kawad Maddusila Maddusila Tisura Wal Kubra. Meaning the joint mat, the short joint mat, and the long joint mat. The short joint mat and the long joint mat. And this comes with what? Ya'ti ma'al ya asagira. It comes with the ya asagira. Hmm? You see here in the red, it's the sign of the ya asagira. All right. Wal wa asagira and the wa asagira like this. And then the sila to sugra tamuddu harakatan or to maddu harakatan it is stretch it is stretch to length two beats uh, and was sila to kubra the long joint taati alayha alamat al mad it comes with on top of it the the indication of elongation, this line here that is not straight, it is a little bit slanted. And this is pull or it is stretch two beats or four beats and the examples are here. Uh, you see here is the uh uh sila asura and here dunihi awliya dunihi awliya here is the madd sila tul kubra and you see always in most cases the madd sila tul kubra it is succeeded 
by or Hamza. It is succeeded by a Hamza, and that is not the case with Maddusila to Sohra. Okay, and here, Lahu Mulku. And coming back to here, Awliya. This is what this is. Maddu Al Wajibul Mutasil over here. Awliya. And then this is the Maddusila. And here is Walahu Aslama. Mm, this is Maddu Sila Al Kubra. This is Sila to Sughra, Sila to Kubra, Sila to Sughra, Sila to Kubra. Okay, this one here, number four from the kinds of mad is Maddu Al Badal or Maddu Al Iwad. Maddu Al Badal is the swish mad, and the Maddu Al Iwad is the substituted mad. And the Maddu Al Badal huwa an yatiya qabla harfu qabla harf al Maddi Hamza. So the switch mat is the switch because that which is usual and normal is that the Hamza comes after the letter of mud. So if the opposite takes place, it is called Al Badal, the switch mud. So it is the case when the Hamza comes before the letter of mud. Uh, like in Kama Huwa Fil Mithal Al Awal Wathani Wathalit. Like in the first example, the second example, and the third example. Here. You see, the Hamza comes before the letter of Mad here. Amanu. Hmm? Here to the Hamza comes before the Mad. Wow. Utu. And here the Hamza comes before the Mad. Ya. Imana. So these three are Mad. what? Al Badal. And then Mad al Iwad, which is the substitute of Mad, Yati Hal al Waqf. It comes at the time of stopping, when you're stopping, Ala Tanween in Nasbi, meaning on the Tanween of Fatha, meaning when you're stopping on Fathatain. Kama fil Mithalain al Akhirain, like in the last two examples, 